To add a consigner into Ricochet consignment software, hover over the account section, then click once on consigners. Click new consigner in the upper right hand corner. This will bring you to the add new consigner screen. The new consigner screen is going to be broken down into four windows. There'll be details, address, notes and preferences, and documents. The details section is where you'll be adding the majority of a consigner's information. Start out by adding the consigner's first name and last name. Note that these are the only necessary fields to create a consigner's account, but adding additional information will allow for more organization and feature use. Next, there will be a field for email address. A consigner's email address is needed for the consigner login, MailChimp, and QuickBooks integration. So we do suggest getting this information from your consigners. There will be fields for phone number, a custom field for things like the consigner's business name or a vendor booth number, and the default split. The default split will be the commission split that gets added to an item by default. If you do not see your commission split listed, then click the plus sign to bring up the new split window. This will allow you to add a new commission split right on the fly. Just give the split a name, then add the store percentage and consigner percentage, then click Add Split. This will add the split to the consigner's account and save it for future use with other accounts. Note that the commission splits can also be added and altered in the Admin section under Preferences. Adding a username and password will enable you to email the consigner their login information. Consigners can access their accounts from a Mac or PC computer by going to your store's Ricochet URL, which will always end with .ricoconsign, or you can go to your website URL if you are using the Ricochet web store. Finally, they do have the ability to access their account through the Ricochet Go app, which is available for Apple and Android smartphones. Usernames can be unique, but we recommend using the consigner's email address. If you create a consigner's username and add a password, then the software will automatically send the consigner their login information once the account has been saved. Consigners will be able to update their password once they log in. If you want the consigner to create their own password, add the consigner username, save the account, and then click Send Password Reset Email. This will email the consigner their username, your store's Ricochet URL, and will direct them to a screen to set their own password. Adding an address to the address field means that when you print checks from Ricochet, the address will also print on the check for mailing purposes. It is good to note, though, that if you do sign up consigners with the consigner login, they can access their account and update their address on their own. Notes and Preferences will have a field for notes that can only be viewed by the store. After that, you're going to see seven toggle buttons. These toggles are used in very specific situations, but the most common will be used is the Is Vendor, which will allow consigners to add their own items into their account. After toggling on this button, you will see a confirmation screen. Once you hit Confirm, the consigner will be able to add in their own inventory through the Consigner Login or Go app. The other options serve specific purposes. Let's review them now. If you toggle off the taxable option, any sale that the consigner is attached to will automatically have tax removed. Toggling off the bulk credit adjustment toggle button means the consigner will not be included in the bulk credit adjustment report. This report will allow you to deduct funds from a group of consigners all at once. The is customer toggle button allows the consigner to be viewed in the customer field and also allows them to be attached to sales. Selecting Consigner Credit Only means that a consigner will not appear on the payout report. They can use their funds for purchases within the store and can still be paid out individually within their own consigner account. If you toggle off Email Marketing, the consigner will be excluded from the email list if you're using our MailChimp integration. And finally, toggling off Can Log In will remove a consigner's ability to log into the software. The Documents section enables you to upload up to five files in the format of JPEG, PNG,
PNG or PDF to a consigner's account. The consigner can then view and download these files from their consigner login or the Ricochet Go app. Additionally, stores have the capability of deleting files and uploading new ones. One thing we do want to note is that you will need to save a consigner's account before being able to upload documents. If you try to upload a document at this point, you're going to get an error message that says consigner account has not been created. Once you click save in the upper right hand corner, you will save and create the account. This will also create an internal consigner number that will be the first three digits of a SKU number to any item attached to that consigner's account. If you'd like to go back to the consigner list, then click back to consigners in the upper left, and you can have access to any consigner account by clicking the edit button.